Thank you, Madam Chair. Mr. Pearson, I'll start uh, with you. Uh, isn't it true that um, despite the uh, price increases that we're talking about today for products such as Cyprene, isn't it true that you said in your deposition you emphasize maintaining patient access as Valiant's top priority? Isn't that true? It's one of our high priorities, yes. And yet despite that statement and, and th that statement today and that statement in the deposition uh, and your company's so-called patient assistance program, uh, Valiant Coverage Plus, we have the testimony of Mrs. Uh, Ms. Heyman, which um, I think clearly indicates that, um, and, she, and I'm quoting from to the bottom of page one and the top of page two of her t statement today, <coughs> that, quote, her, the copay for Cyprene was under $700 per year until 2013. By 2014, my projected copay exceeded $10,000 per year with my insurance paying over 260000 Do you dispute that? Uh, no, I don't. Ms. Mrs. Heyman, as I understand it, is, is uh, covered by government insurance, and uh, we are not allowed to give copay assistance to uh, uh, um, people that are covered by government insurance, and that's why we offered her the product for free for life, which we are allowed to do. But you don't, disp you don't dispute that the copay increased I, by that? I, I have no, no, I totally believe her. In, in, also in your deposition, um, uh, it's exhibit, um, exhibit 14, page 39, so-called talking points. I don't know if you recall this or if you have it, you have it in front of you. Um, you may be able to to refer to it there. Um, in the talking points... Is this, is this page page 36? Page 39. 39, okay, thank you. Top of the page is draft patient talking points. That's the document. And I'm going to the fourth bullet, starting with the word importantly. Do you see that? Yes, I do. Okay. And under, under that fourth bullet that starts with the word importantly, there are two subparts. And you say in this, uh, the talking points say, quote, we expect that a majority of the price increase will be absorbed by your health care provider, and there will be no significant increase uh, in your copay, unquote. That was, that was in your, that was in your, um, deposition? In my deposition, I was uh, asked about this document. I uh, made it clear I'd never seen this document except for preparing for testimony through, through counsel. This was a, a program that apparently was, was uh, being considered down in the organization. Um, it was never approved. We never implemented this program. So you never saw it before your deposition. That was your testimony. Uh, except for seeing it from the lawyers a couple days in advance. Um, in preparation, I had not seen this document. Okay. Well, so, someone, someone in the organization was um, was indicating that there'd be no significant increase in the copay, and obviously that was uh, transmitted to um, to patients as as a as a talking point. Yet in Ms. In Ms. Heyman's uh, case, out-of-pocket costs went, as I said, from 700 per year to over 10,000, um, and she was denied any patient assistance multiple times. So I guess here's the, the basic question, and that's why I set forth a, a long predicate. It took three, den three denials, <clears throat> one news article, and a whole year for her to receive a response. Is that correct? Um, I, I think that was her testimony, and I have no reason to doubt it. Explain to this uh, committee why that would take that long. Why would it take all of those uh, events and interventions and, frankly, outrages uh, before she would get a response uh, to that, that fundamental question? Senator, I agree with you. It should not have. And um, that was, uh, um, obviously, it was poor execution. And uh, uh, clearly, we, we need to improve the ex execution on, on some of these programs. And in the remaining time I have, I'll, I'll uh, turn to Mr. Ackman. Uh, Mr. Ackman, you said in your testimony today 
and I'm quoting from the bottom of page uh, four, you say, and I quote, Valiant has been appropriately criticized for substantially raising prices of certain off-patent uh, prescription drugs suddenly and without apparent justification. These issues are worthy of inquiry, and, end of quote. Um, and then you go on to say uh, you're committed to ensuring they'll never be, uh, they'll never be repeated. Yes. And then in the next paragraph, you talk about getting drug pricing right is a serious issue. When we read those words, uh, worthy of inquiry, uh, serious issue, it in no way conveys the gravity of this. Uh, in my judgment, I think that's probably the judgment of most objective observers. So you say you're on the board. You say you're trying to get this right. Uh, why should we believe you? I think actions speak louder than words. Uh, I would say uh, I joined the Board of Valiant on March 21st, uh, and in a month uh, we've made a lot of changes at the company. Uh, we've replaced uh, Mr. Pearson uh, with another executive who's got a tremendous track record. Uh, we're making a lot of changes to the Board of Directors. Uh, we understand the issue and the problem. And when I talk about getting drug prices right, I mean, you know, it may, be, it may seem that the best thing for society is just to reduce the prices of all drugs. But the reason why in this country we have the most innovative drug companies in the world is that people can make a profit uh, and they're highly incentivized to innovate and come up with new drugs. So I'm, I'm not in favor of price controls, but I'm certainly not in favor of abuse of uh, it, taking advantage of a, a short-term monopoly to uh, extract massive price increases. And it's totally wrong. But my point, look, my point here is I've got your testimony. It's five pages long. It's single space. There's a lot of information in here. And I'm glad we have it. But you made reference in your, your oral testimony here earlier in reference to one of the questions and one of your responses about social responsibility. Can you point to anything in this testimony you submitted today, this written testimony, that speaks to social responsibility? So that this, as, as your quote is saying, never happens again and this is a serious issue? Is there anything in here that, that you intend to do, or the board intends to do, or the company intends to do, to ensure that there is a social responsibility to this improvement plan, or whatever you want to call it, that the company is undertaking. I, mean, I, I wrote it and I read this statement into the record. I, I, I raised my hand to say I believe it to be true to the best of my knowledge. But I, is there I any do, reference in there to any yes. kind of social responsibility? Yes. I say the following. Um, I, st I take seriously the responsibilities that come with my role as a new member of Valiant's board and I'm committed to ensuring that Valiant implements best practices with respect to drug pricing and maintaining the company's social contract with the patients and doctors it serves. Okay, and what, what, is, what has the company done to, to fulfill that, that, uh, we, that commitment that you made in your testimony? We replaced the CEO. The first thing, I, I want to make sure the company didn't go bankrupt. Okay, that's the first thing I've been doing in the last four weeks. We had to get a waiver from our banks. We're working at a, getting a 10K filed. We expect that will be filed by Friday. Well, stick with me for one sec. If I can, please. Uh, and we're bringing in a CEO that's got a great track record, frankly, in reducing health care costs. Perigo is known uh, for bringing down health care costs. They're, they're known for making alternative uh, Walmart-branded uh, solutions uh, over the counter and otherwise, and generics. Uh, so I think we've identified, you know, I'm not an operating executive of Valiant. I won't be. I'll be a member. I'll be one of 10 or 11 members of the board. But I think this committee has done an excellent job elevating the issue of pricing. And uh, it's done a good job you know, taking about $80 billion off the market cap of Valiant. And I think that has not gone unnoticed, not just by Valiant, but every other drug company in the country. And I think the impact of that will be that people will be very sensible uh, and, and before they think about jacking up the price of a drug to extract a monopoly profit. But but look, replacing the CEO and making these, these broad uh, categorical statements doesn't change the fact that you still have no, no policy to make sure that, that prices are, are never increased this way. I also said at the beginning of my... I haven't heard anything about any kind of social responsibility or any kind of business ethics. But, print, but set that aside for a moment. Just tell us, or, or I hope the company will prove to us, that in, in a very short order... This, sh this shouldn't take more than weeks. I agree. To, to, to put into place a new policy as it regards to pricing. Not grand promises, not, not moving around the, the, the chairs in the boardroom, but a real policy that says it shall be the policy of this company 
to not do the following, and, we're, and this is the this is the the set of rules we're going to live by. And you will have that in weeks, uh, and hopefully, if not sooner, uh, our new you CEO. Do you plan to put the, the leadership of the company through any kind of business ethics? <clears throat> our C we have a new CEO. He's going to start, I believe, on Monday. Uh, he's going to show up at the company tomorrow and start meeting executives. And we are. This is uh, the highest priority for the company. And as a member of the board, you know, watch, watch what we can do. You need Senator you need Casey. business ethics and a code of conduct in a, in a very specific policy on pricing. I Senator agree. Casey, you're.